Okay. My team, my team. Shake, shake. I am on Shake, 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 shake. Shake, shake. All right. Literally, it's no pressure. We back again. You know what it is. It's your boy Edo, man. What to do, bud? And yeah, we're going to talk about some, some more entertainment shit on um, one of the stories, too, that um, <clears throat> stuck out to me when Soulja Boy got accused of sexual assault. And uh, the girl claimed that uh, he kicked her, punched her, body slammed her, locked in the room for three days and re repeatedly raped her. And uh, now she feels she can't reestablish herself like in the workplace and he should be held accountable. So, like, what's what's y'all thoughts on that, man? She put the streets off, trust me. She for the streets. I ain't even heard about that story, honestly. Yeah, but I, I heard about it, but what you gotta understand too. Soldier Boy is a genius. So guess what? That's all I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna see what y'all say. Soldier Boy has a knack for understanding how to make himself buzz, bro. He has a knack for it. It's a talent that everybody don't got. I definitely don't got it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but he, he got a knack for that shit. So, like, I feel like in the next couple of months or weeks, if he don't get brought down on charges, it's a publicity stunt. And he did it to make himself buzz. And he's just good at it, bro. That's, how, that's just how I feel, bro. You know what I mean? Well, okay, so I guess we're going to jump to another story. Um, a Michigan woman killed her boyfriend's mother because she thought he was cheating. And uh, she burned his uh, mom alive with, with um, his two nephews. And she sent a text to her boyfriend saying, I hope your mom's like, uh, I hope your mom's like being burned alive. Oh, that bitch crazy. She's sick, bro. That's a fan of a trash. That bitch crazy. That's mom, some movie bro. shit. She 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 sick. Sick. That's some Oxygen to China. You seen that, snow, that show Snap on Oxygen? No, I don't you ain't never heard of that snap back <laughs> Even fan of a trash. That's what the fuck that is. Like, it's, it's a show like yeah. Snap is like women. When they go crazy, like, like dealing with situations with this shit. dude, almost some shit like that, like, she snapped, bro. That's crazy. She's that's crazy. Like, that's, that sound like a movie. And she already had issues. Yeah, that sound <laughs> she, like a movie. It sound like she wanted to already, she always wanted to do that to somebody. She bad had issues. That sound crazy. So she was just like, I wish a nigga would. So I can burn it. Yeah, sick. yeah, bro. Sick. If it wasn't that, it was going to be something else. That's premeditated, bro. She's sick, bro. That's okay. crazy. So what's something a girl has did crazy, like, when she thought she was cheating and she found out she, uh, you was cheating? I had a bitch bite me before, bro. In the face? No, like, on my arm, but the bitch bit me. She pretty much was like, nigga, let me see your phone. I'm like, no. She tried to wrestle me for the phone. That didn't go well. I'm stronger. Then when she said she wasn't going to get the phone, the bitch bit me. Thinking I was gonna let go of the phone, <laughs> but I never let go of the phone. So it's just one of them situations where, like, I got this big ass bruise on my arm from getting bit, and it's like for a phone that you still didn't get. <laughs> it's just like, is you crazy? Like, why would you bite me? You you an animal? You are you feral? <laughs> like, so wrong okay. So what's the pussy good? Yes. Was it worth it? It was worth you getting bit like that. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Damn, bro. That's, she hey got, man, she got that snap. I didn't really like getting bit, but shit, that <laughs> pussy hit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, what else I guess another video was the uh, the black guy who was screaming, Fuck Black Lives Matter. So, what y'all think about that? Y'all seen the video when he was standing out there with all the white folks? He was like, Fuck Black Lives. It's a black dude. Yeah, a black dude. Uncle Sam. Uncle Tom ass motherfucker. Mm -hmm. He about he, he like that dude uh from Kentucky, Daniel Cameron, who was the attorney general basically. You know, he, he basically had the power to convict every officer or you know, bring all them officers up on charges as far as the uh, as far as Breonna Taylor getting killed. He ain't, he ain't do what he was supposed to do. Fuck him. So same with that motherfucker who was screaming that shit. We we throw his ass to the other side too. We disown him. He ain't got no black heart. Fuck him. He ain't yeah, got no black heart. Yeah, that, 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 that shit gone, bro. That shit gone. That's Uncle Rugged for you. He's a motherfucker. He's the nigga who will turn you over to them folks where I, I'm talking about at the drop of a dime for whatever. Even if you don't agree with Black Lives Matter or what they stand for or shit, different shit like that, it's still one of those situations where it's like, bro, like, 
Yeah, you just, it's certain shit you just don't kick, bro. You know what I mean? That's, that's something that ain't even. You gotta stick with your people regardless. Whether yeah. you agree black Whether well, you agree or not. Yeah, it's just one of those things. I'm gonna ride with my people regardless. I don't, I don't, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'm riding with my people regardless because look at how we already have it in the world. Come on out. Like that, like that one uh picture, that one meme that's going viral right now. The one black dude that was standing in, in the uh capital, he like, where my stimmy at? <laughs> like <laughs> it's funny, but it's like it, it, shit like that make you wonder, like, what the fuck was that dude even doing? There? No, yeah, you gotta that. stop hitting it. That the vibration of it hit being hit picks up, and that's why it's like making that fucking noise. Oh okay. Oh, oh so when it is shaped like this. Okay, yeah, when it's seen. Yeah, that's what's going on. Mm. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> it was a video where this guy, he confronted his girl, like, side dude, and punched him. So, so do you feel like that's some weak, weak nigga shit, like, like attacking the side dude? I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to say it's weak nigga shit, but you need to check up, bro. First of all, I should be like, right. yeah, unless it's a situation where you knew where you know this nigga know y'all together, like it's unless it's a situation like that where you know this nigga know y'all together, you gotta check your girl, bro. Cause you it's another nigga in the street. Cause you don't know, you don't never know what she telling the the, the other nigga. Pillow you don't know what she telling that nigga. You don't know whether she lying to him saying she ain't got a got a dude or whatever. She's telling this nigga a situation. You don't you don't know. So it's like when it comes to you find off on him, like man, check your girl first. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say it's a whole nigga move, but like you know. I can understand his frustration in that moment. Are you seeing? Cause I ain't no telling. Don't nobody know what the hell that dude. They see they got damn girl walking with another nigga in public. You don't know what the hell you you gonna do. So in that situation, that's probably his emotion. That shit got to him. Like, bro, man, fuck both of y'all. He probably wanted to knock her ass out, but he he can't get her. So he took it out on the dude. Couldn't I'm gonna be real, you know bro. Saying? I just seen a situation where that was the case. But because the nigga did that, that made the bitch go fuck with the nigga even more. Cause now it's like he a victim. So now she wanna go baby him and pay. like no yeah. no lie, like legit I seen this play out like this. Yeah. Like my partner, he had a chick. They was fucking around or whatever. And then like it was another nigga from the hood. We knew him, but we weren't cool with him. But like pretty much she knew that, so that's why she cheated with that nigga. Cause she knew it was no way we was gonna figure it out. But what ended up happening was the pillow talk. When she is another bitch, end up telling another nigga who end up telling him like, "Oh yeah, your girl be over there kicking with such and such." Yeah, and girl, then boom, him, he go up the street, beat his ass, like give him the beats, embarrass him in front of the hood, and now it's like you thinking, "Yeah, she know she know what it is." Nah, like the next day, the next couple of weeks. She pampering the nigga on some like, oh, she oh baby, you. you got your ass beat type she shit. And she over there fucking on him. He got mm -hmm. beat up to get fucked on. Like, and it's, it's a whole mind fuck because it's like, bro, you would yeah, think she case. wouldn't even do that. Like, but nah, she like, fuck it. I'm going to go ride with this nigga because you shouldn't have did that when really like, bitch, you for the streets. For the street. For the streets. Yeah, okay, so at all, bro. Like, you still without your bitch. Yeah, you like, still, you lost your girl because yeah, you beat him up. Right. That's that hurt, hurt. That's that hurt. You feel me? Like, I ain't. Okay, so, okay. Have you ever, I guess, been around the people? This is like, okay, old girl we met today, right? And let's just say you wanted to hit her, right? And you went back and said, Bug be doing this. That pillow talk. No, it, it, uh, yeah, it's just like, Bug be doing this because you <laughs> want her to look at me a different way because you don't want me to holler. That's yes, lame. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's Listen, it's no way it's any of that is shit, respectable, bro. Yeah. Because if you go, you pretty much crossed me out so you can get the pussy. Yeah. And if you had to do that, that's lame. That's lame, man. That's too much pussy out here. It is. Huh. Like, bro, Why they got to do that? You feel me? But it's lame on so many levels. I will be talking for we only bro. We'll be talking for ever about how lame that is, bro. Oh, that it's just really? nothing about that is playing, bro. Okay, so has anybody ever got you like this? Yes, bro. That's why I say it's lame. That, <laughs> but that's lame, bro. Like that's lame, bro. Nah, yeah, that's cap as fuck. Like now that situation, I speak on a lot of situations, but I'm not that, gonna that. speak on that one. Just cause of 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 where I'm at in my life right now, I ain't gonna speak on that one. But all I but I will keep one hundred and say, like at the end of the day, 
it was just a situation where I was starting to get clouded up in this shit. When the, when the clout first started to, to start to build up. And, like, what the nigga didn't understand is, like, bro, like, shout it for the streets anyway. And you did that, and I don't even really want no. But the, the simple fact of the matter is, you doing that, and we probably be cool, just show me how much niggas would do for some pussy, bro. You know what I mean? But yeah, the nigga, you know, fuck it. Fuck it. I wasn't going to speak on it, but fuck it. I'm, I'm going to talk about it. The nigga <laughs> pretty much was on some shit like, yeah, well, you know, ego, like, he married. And it's like, duh, that bitch knew that too. I told her that so me and my wife could fuck her. You know what I mean? See? Like, it was on some shit like that. So I guess I'll speak on that much and then just don't expose the nigga. You know what I mean? But yeah, it, nigga definitely did some lame shit because he felt like I was hiding the fact that I man. It was like, nah, a lot of these little hoes I come across, the first thing I pitched to him is, hey, man, look, say, man, you look close, man. I'll let you know that's cool, but my wife got fucked too. And it's like, you know what I mean? Niggas be thinking I'm out here doing what they doing, which is lying. Nigga, I can lie to none of these hoes. <laughs> y'all niggas lying because y'all ain't clear. You know what I mean? Man. Anybody ever got you like this? Man. You know what? Yeah. It's funny you say that. Like, and there's no cap. I was in school. Um, and it, you know, it is how y'all niggas is, bro. And fuck them niggas, bro. I ain't gonna expose their ass put names out there. But fuck them old ass niggas. Cause they probably know by who they is about us when I say the situation. But we was I was in school and the rent office lady, uh <laughs> rent office lady, yeah. Shout out to the rent office lady, man. Yeah. Shout out Miss Valencia, man. But Miss Valencia had these and she had a twin daughter, thick as hell, thick as hell, it was cute, man. So, one of them was digging a nigga, you feel me? Now, I'm young, I mean, at the time, like, I had a few females that I was, you know, I was dealing with and shit like that or whatever, but long story short, the niggas who was supposed to be my homies basically told, told you know, old girl, I don't even remember her name, it's crazy. But I don't even know my name, but oh man, yeah, you know, D got a girlfriend, man, and all this other shit. So next day, I know, I'm trying to figure out why she, you know, she ain't fucking with me and shit like that. And remember, she shot me some old left field text message, telling me, I said, yeah, such and such told me how you had a girlfriend, and this and this and this. Then I peeped when one of the niggas started fucking with her. I put it, yeah, in, I just replayed and put the puzzle on my ass. This nigga, man, you know, Blame. You bitch ass nigga, like, damn, it, it was that serious for you to got name fuck with her, but, like, damn, bro. <laughs> Niggas you know, like I, that, in their in they head, they be like, mm -hmm. I'm a snitch, like, y'all. Yep, yep. Like, and you can tell yeah. that's what they think. Cause we all, it was, all, it was always like, us in the neighborhood. So when it came to the females like, and shit who came in, they, they knew who we was and shit like that, especially if they, if they were from school. I went to South the Cab, but, so especially if they, shit, came, bro, bro, they knew, but this nigga was, yeah, man, you know, he, Shit like that. So you know, best thing I, I see. I'm That's like, you crazy. Know, use a bitch, and everybody <laughs> who went who, who went with the shit and went down with the shit is a bitch. Then one of the other niggas out the group tried to talk to one of the, the chicks that I was fucking with at the time. That's old me. niggas. Bro. Like the nigga that did it to me, he supposed to be one of the hardest niggas. So when he did it, I was I just couldn't think about it. But like like he just said, them niggas in the back of their head, they already like. I can't wait to talk to this bitch alone yeah. so I can say drop yeah. it. That what well, we call wait. that drop it salt. They either can't wait for you to fuck you know up, I mean? or they don't can't wait to, to 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 drop some salt like that. Don't drop the salt on my ass. They brain. can't wait for that shit. Bro. That's pussy nigga. But you shit. know what's crazy? It's a podcast <clears throat> I watch, and the guy he says it like they comedians, and he was like. When they see a girl, you know, his his partner get bitches, like, just because he, I guess he look good. So all the bitches always gravitate towards uh, him. So he said he'll walk up to the bitch and be like, hey, you know he got eight kids, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that'd be the lame shit. Because he That's was a, on the funny that, man shit, but he dead ass, ass He already know. Like, he on the funny man shit, but he definitely dead ass. He definitely yeah. want a detour. That's yeah. still like, I don't care if you a comedian. That, that ain't no funny man, man shit, cause you already like, know what you're doing by saying that. He did it to right. the girl. You already know what you're doing. You already know what you're doing by saying that. Come on, my nigga, that ain't that's no funny lame. man shit. Ain't you know what? It's real funny. At the same time, real bitch gonna recognize like shit. What the fuck? She gonna know what's up. Right. I'm trying to tell you. Man, real gonna recognize. Some of y'all ain't too though. Man, that's the nature of the game, bro. It's some bad bitches that's lame as fuck. Yeah. And they won't admit to it, but they really want a nigga that they can duck out. Right. Like, yeah, when right. I mean duck out, quack, quack. Like, if you're not finna do it, if you're not a do boy, you're not gonna fit my caliber type of duck out. And then there's some real bitches that 
they won't admit, but they want a hard nigga. But they gonna make it seem like they want a uh, what we gonna call chivalrous nigga. See what I'm saying? They'll they'll promote on Instagram, Snapchat. Oh, if you're not chivalrous, you're not for me. But for real, when you get with a chivalrous nigga, you say that he ain't man enough. You see what I'm saying? So it it just it just it's a tricky situation out here. But dating is hard out here in these streets. That's why I'm glad I'm married. Yeah. Dating is hard out here in these streets right now. I fear for any young black man or any young man in general out here dating, bro. It's, it's hard. It's hard, bro. Niggas drop the soft pillow talking. Niggas out here hating on you, stabbing you up because you don't want to goddamn. Throwing shot on your yeah, game, bro. bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. Real. Okay, another question. It's another um, show I be watching. It was like they was uh, this uh, comedian, and it's like a, I guess he's kind of like an activist. They've been doing a show for like ten years, and his partner basically did some shit that he really couldn't forgive, but he stayed cool with him. So when the next time they got into it, like everything just came out. Like yeah. so, I guess like, do you feel like that's a that's a good way to handle it? Like so, when your homeboy. Do some fuck shit. Like, do you just call the shit out and stop fucking with him, or you just kind of like try to play and cool and see he fuck up again? I mean, it just depends on how tight y'all is. Like, like if that's like my brother, my brother, we gotta straighten that. We gotta straighten that. Now I ain't gonna cap. There is there's certain shit that it ain't no coming back from. Yeah. So I yeah. love you. I, I love I love you enough to quit fucking with you to, to just my distance. Ain't no ain't been to do shit to you. Ain't no nothing but. I can't fuck with, I can't never fuck with you again. You feel, you feel me? Especially if it's a factor where motherfucker broke trust. Like you said, this some fuck shit and broke some trust. <laughs> it probably really ain't no coming back from that. But we still got to straighten that just because of the history we have, how tight we is. But my nigga, like I said, there is certain things that it ain't, it ain't no coming back from. That's why you got to be careful. Feel me? Okay, so, yeah. th okay, when they was arguing, you know, he came out that the um the guy who the, I guess his homeboy who did the weak shit yeah he uh, he he was saying like he said he was like um he said I don't even fuck with you, niggas like you for real he was like you a weak link he said the only reason I fuck with you is you got knowledge so you ever you ever like kept somebody around who you felt like it was a weak link but they kind of was like I guess they was good at something else so that, I guess it kind of helped you in the, in the not way. ready for oh no. Nah, I ain't, I ain't never, I ain't, if you're a weak link, you're a weak link. You feel me? I don't, weak link is that's, that's a chink in your chain. Regardless, I don't give a fuck if that chink might be the smartest piece, piece of chain in the whole group, but he's a chink, he fucked up. So when it comes to this, this chain eating the whole whatever, it, it needs the whole, it ain't gonna, it's gonna bust because of this weak ass motherfucking nigga over here. So regardless of the fact of that small little quality you bring to the table, you a weak link. So you gonna fall, you gonna cost everybody something somewhere. You know what I'm saying? You gonna, you gonna cost everybody somewhere being a weak link. So the fact that it, you know what I'm saying? The fact that it's, you, you a weak link, it don't matter whatever small quality you bring. I, I don't keep nobody who, who, who I feel like is a weak link or a chink in my chain around me. I can't do that. Cause you gonna, you gonna fuck something up. And I'd rather cut you now before it costs me way more later on. Feel me? That's, 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 that's 100, bro. Cause me personally, bro, I'm taking that weak ass shit the fuck out of my face, bro. And it's fucked up because I say that to niggas like that and they turn the fuck up. Like, not in an aggressive way of like, oh, fuck you, nigga. But in a way of like, damn, big bro. Bro, just sit here. Damn, this shit weak. Let me get this shit right. And then, like, a couple weeks later, like, a, a couple of months later, they be done turn the fuck up. And it's like, I still be on the air, like, yo, that what I want to see you do. Cause you know what I mean, but like I said, I be expecting them to be like, man, fuck you, ego. But I tell a nigga that they they turn the fuck up, like yeah. that shit crazy. Like I don't, I just get mixed response on that shit. Like I be looking for the man. I want this little nigga away from me, so nigga get that weak ass shit off. Nigga turn up, and now I'm like, yeah, little bro, you doing good. I fuck with you. Like that was so. <laughs> yeah, I give credit where it do, but then like. I don't be expecting a nigga to be fucking with me after that. I be expecting a nigga to be like, man, fuck this nigga ego. I can't stand it. Nigga, nigga be like, man, fuck this shit, bitch, bro. I said that shit, I got tight up. So, I don't know what the fuck I be doing in these streets for, to influence these niggas, but I do know that I keep it real with a nigga all day, every day. 
And I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm not finna like bug if your shit weak, bro. I'm gonna tell your shit weak. But surprisingly, nigga, you surprised the fuck out of me. Cause you got good ass music, but a nigga won't know it by looking at you. Cause yeah, you don't, everybody say it. You don't carry yourself like that. When I went to rumors, uh <laughs> this back when I wasn't wearing like collar shirts and shit. And when I got up on stage, they was laughing. And then like when when I, I had paid like a girl ten dollars to record me. And she was like saying in the video, she said, Oh, I thought he was gonna be whack. She was laughing and she like she was surprised that I was so good. But then it was another nigga before me, he had the look. And that but nigga was whack. straight garbage. That's how I be. Niggas who totally got the look, you be thinking they they got all the sauce. Them niggas be them niggas be trash can. Just plug it. Straight up, trash. yeah, but I kind of like, but I always look at music like it don't necessarily have to be. A, I mean, you can have a look as you look at like Kendrick Lamar, they be like, when he come around, they was like, uh, matter of fact, when he was on the Ricky Smiley show, they were saying they thought he was the janitor by the way he was dressed. Mm -hmm. And then you got like some artists, they don't really have J. a Cole, look, bro. yeah, they don't have a look, but they just yeah, have yeah. good music. J. Cole yeah, definitely right. a little homeless, but he's not. <laughs> he's not. He's not. He's so, so it's like you don't necessarily have to have a certain look, it's just like, uh, I want people to fall in love with like who I am, like regular. Everyday bug, right. you get what right. I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. So that's what I was going for. But I mean, I, I'm the type of person like if I don't have it like that, I'm not finna fake like wearing like uh, uh -huh. designer clothes and all this kind of shit. But if yeah. I had money like that, I I do it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But I always been the type of person like I always make sure I have a nice car. And some niggas it just make sure I, I always have nice clothes. So I always been like that. But why do you niggas like nice shit fake though? Just yeah. keep wanting it, bro. A lot of y'all niggas is not. A lot of the shit that these niggas be wearing, you gotta get from Paris. The, a lot of Louis niggas be wearing, you gotta get from Paris. And I know you didn't take that flight to Paris to get it, bro. Yeah, so exclusive it, shit. It, or the thread count look a little cheap. You know what I'm saying? Because that real Louis thread count is thick, bro. If that shit look like it for a strong enough wind come through, nigga, you gonna be cold. You not rocking the real one, bro. It's, it be that fake shit. I mean, you know, d mall been a thing, bro. You feel me? Niggas just forgot about it, so now niggas is hitting that bitch hard. Because niggas forgot about... Come on, bro. You forgot about the discount mall, then. I don't really buy clothes. Like, well, you can look at me and tell. Like, I don't really buy clothes like that. Like, I just wear like, like, t-shirts and jeans and shit like that. So I don't really spend my money at the mall like that. Like, I like, forgot like, about the discount mall, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Because CD, when CDs went out, it wasn't no need for me to go no more. I never got my jewelry from this kind of mall. I never got no tank tops, no yeah. t-shirt. I always went to the store for that shit. Like yeah. the regular store, the convenience store. Yeah. Buy my tank tops out of the convenience store. Fuck the food alone. I'm gonna get it from the a rap So it like, I forgot about the D-Mall. I forgot that they were still open until shit, I moved to the east side and they still had a functioning D-Mall. I was like, yeah. damn, niggas still got D-Mall? I know that nigga shit be fake. Look. <laughs> okay, let me switch it up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, your girl gave birth to a retarded child. Whoa! <laughs> would, you, would, you to, would you want to give it up for adoption? That ain't right, care, bro. Care that, hey, hell. that's fucked up. <laughs> hey, <laughs> straight to hell. Hey, that's fucked up. Hey, he said, hey, I don't. <laughs> hey, that's a lifetime of issues. Not gonna say issues, but like, I just look at. I guess when I when I go out and I be out and I look at people who have special kids. I be saying to myself, can I, can I, can I deal with that? You feel me? Especially de depend on their condition, whether it, whether it, it's down syndrome or whatever. Severe, like they fucking locked up. Oh, they, oh, they got the chicken wing, the little Darren going on. <laughs> Shit. Hey, I, I was watching this yeah. movie. This dude fell off like a balcony. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he was regular, and then when they showed him at the end. This nigga oh, all <laughs> right. It was that locked was up to the shit. Yeah. That nigga was fucked up. Boy, y'all, boy, you out of here. That nigga said he had that chicken with him. Little Bro, y'all think that's some funny shit, bro. Watch this show called My 600 Pound Life, bro. Oh, no, that shit's ridiculous. That shit's funny. That shit's ridiculous, bro. Bro, it's been one episode where they nigga on the golf cart. And he fall oh, off the that motherfucker. Yeah. And he like, ah! Yeah. Yeah. Then the daddy get off the golf cart. He like, get your fat ass up. <laughs> he said, that's your problem. And he was like, you're fucking faking. But if you would have seen this big guy fall off of this little big ass golf club, you would have been like, that probably did hurt his whole body, bro. Because like, 
the way he fell off the golf club, then they was going up like a hill. It was just fucked yeah, up. Yeah, for like, because sure. he's too big to be on this golf cart anyway. But, yeah, like, yeah. it just, if you watch My 600 Pound Life or, like, 90 Days In, them two shows right there, bro, it's it's a fucked up situation that them folks be going through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, sure. like, it be some comedic moments on them. It do, though. Bro. I mean, it do, like, I, I ain't gonna say give it up for adoption. I got some homies with special kids and, and what I will say is this Every time I see that situation It just make me remember what my mama said My mama was like Don't talk about nobody kids And your kids yeah, don't come out yeah, fucked up fuck. So yeah, no, saying. every time I didn't had a child I always made sure I shut the fuck up about don't say shit. Kid. I do yeah, not I say saying, nothing about my nobody kids kid. like, Let me not say nothing yeah, when my when, when legacy was being born, bro, I ain't say nothing about nobody. It was a situation where I almost was in, and I almost had to say somebody about somebody's kids. I didn't say nothing. Yeah, yeah. When sure. my first born was born, Ariana, I was like, I ain't saying nothing like nobody kid, yeah. bro. Because yeah. it's like my homies, like they go through the most of the social media kids, and it, I just be looking like, damn, bro, like, I wonder what they talking about. Kids. Okay, so so okay, so your chick pregnant, and it was like. Something wrong with the baby? Would you just tell her like, go ahead and kill it, man? We'll just get another one. That's that. He said, "Hey, shit, boy, say, we'll just get bro. another one. Like you could just go to the store and buy that bitch. Nah, hey, that's that's that. in life, my nigga, get another one. Your girl, yeah, car, a job, yeah. for real, fuck that. Nigga, don't be depressed. Get another one. Get another one. Yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man. Another one. Hey, they got hey, a baby store. Look, but so that's fucked up. I, I. That's probably something I really ain't got a definite answer on. I just know I don't believe in abortion, bro, and I definitely don't believe in giving children up because once they in that system, bro, you can't take back when that system do to them. Even if you didn't feel like you was ready. And, I mean, it's just like one situation you got to man to fuck up. You know what I mean? Or a woman to fuck up. Well, all right, let me ask you this. What about the situations? Because I'm on, I'm on a... I'm on a Defense about that, because what about the situations where people, you have another kid, but you really not, you know what I'm saying? How I be saying people be bringing kids in the in the world and they they're not ready for it? Like why Don't would you put them in the system? Find a family member or a friend, a family so, friend. So before you get to the point of having the baby, what about an abortion? That's what I'm saying. Like Plan you B. know you're not ready to have another baby. Oh, boy, and this is past the three, the, the seven to hour mark. You can all take right, that that right, pill right. and. You know you're not in the situation to bring another child in the world. Why the hell would you do it? That's my. That's tricky. That's, me. that's tricky right there. Okay, we we gotta we gotta wrap it up, man. He's signaling me. So uh, literally, damn fucking up. Literally, there's no pressure. Go ahead. What's your name again? Hey, Dan Reaper in this motherfucker. Uh, I appreciate Bob. Y'all ego for having me. Like I said, y'all can find me again on. Instagram, one Dan Reaper, real time three is out now. You can find my music everywhere. Type in Dan Reaper, D A N R E A P E R. You know what I mean? Literally, it's no pressure. pressure. I ain't got shit to say, man. You already know what the vibes is. We back again next week with more influential artists on this motherfucker, more influential people, man. We're going to fuck up straight up. Uh, we gonna leave out on mad at me. We out. Oh, they gonna be Let's mad go. at me.